How about a short, painless video? Okay, you're working down to a single growth ring, your target growth ring. In the case of this one, hard maple, paper thin rings, not impressed by the upper wood right underneath the bark, so I'm working it down. Now you'd think you're gonna take your growth ring tool, pull the stuff off like that. I would say pish posh, because I'm a pusher, not a puller. I have much greater control pushing my blade through layers and not pulling them. So in this case, I've done all this. I'm directly between that eight inches of the tip where it really doesn't matter if you violate a ring or not, and mid limb, which is the scary part. I'm already past the scary part. Mostly I use this. I will hog off the upper layers with that draw knife. I got a lot of leverage with that, but when I'm doing the fine work, it's this. W84 Western Cutlery. I'm not going to really demonstrate much because I don't want to talk and pay attention and screw it up because so far I've done a wonderful job, if I don't say so myself. I've got the late wood that kind of comes off easy. And think about this. You're scraping away. You've got your finished down to the target. You've got a length of one growth ring above and then you've got the area where you're basically hogging it off and you can just kind of jack your way through it now that i've got it down to mostly that foamy stuff that that late wood i can with the blade straight up and down maybe even put a little kick in it at the end to build up a platform then i can just shave it right off that's it think about pushing instead of pulling and what tool you're using. That's all. Painless.